people have celebrated Diwali at the newly constructed Sharda Yatra temple at the LOC Titwal in Kashmir. Ajay Jande all on the telecast with me. Ajay, uh, you know, celebrations, uh, this is along uh, uh, the border uh, that has taken place. How safe at this point of time are people feeling? Uh, Ravinder, give, uh, give us details. Now, Diwali celebrations at the newly constructed Sharda Yatra temple. This is along the line of control. How safe do people feel? All right, uh, visuals on your screens of those Diwali celebrations at the temple along the line of control. Now, despite there, ha despite the fact that there have been targeted killings and terrorist attacks taking place in Jammu and Kashmir, uh, the border continues to be safer. There has been a ceasefire that has been declared by both sides for several months now, and in wake of this ceasefire, people are able to celebrate Diwali and. Uh, Ravindra Pandipta on the telecast with me, Ajay Jandal on the telecast with me, Ajay, uh, tell us more about these Diwali celebrations. People are happy and feeling safe that they are along the line of control, but uh, they can go on, go on about their daily business celebrating the occasion. Definitely a happy moment for the people of Kashmiri Pandit community, especially those who were living in Kashmir for decades and decades. But unfortunate incident after the 90s when uh, you know terror attacks took place and uh, Kashmiri Pandit was forcefully you know uh, thrown out of the Kashmir. Uh, they were not able to offer prayers and especially the traditional temples, which basically uh, temple of goddess like uh, uh, you know this temple. Uh, if you talk about this temple in uh, uh, you know North Kashmir and especially in Kupwara, uh, where uh, people uh, Shada De Devi temple is a uh, basically basically a deity of a Kashmiri Pandits and they were not able to go there. But after you know recent development which has taken place that uh, terrorism had declined, uh, de has declined in the Kashmir Valley, this process has started last year when uh, you know Chef Sarda committee, uh, they started their initiative and started uh, you know once again uh, uh, you know uh, uh, reconstruction of this temple and they also they uh, started uh, puja at, uh, the, the, at uh, Shada De Devi temple in Kopada and this time this year once again they were able to offer prayers and a number of people they celebrated Diwali at Shada Devi Temple, including uh, President of uh, you know Shada, Shada Devi uh, uh, Temple uh, Trust and uh, Arvindar uh, Pandita, who was uh, there, and he uh, he you know invited people, number of people from different parts of the uh, uh, country, those who uh, are the Kashmiri Pandits, especially, and uh, definitely they were able to offer prayers even um, uh, after this uh, number of uh, terror incident has taken place, especially the target killing in which non-locals uh, they were uh, targeted by the terrorists, and definitely uh, it was uh, it was a challenging time but they say that we trust our goddess and security forces that's why they uh, were able and they have celebrated this Diwali once again they're at the Kopala's LOC uh, on uh, in Asha Shada Devi temple right absolutely also on the telecast with me is Ravinder Pandita Ravinder Pandita in fact is uh, uh, the temple priest at Sharda Peet Titwal Ravinder Pandita tell us about the celebrations and how peaceful the situation is along the line of control you see, uh, the temple which was inaugurated by Honorable uh, Home Minister last year, in 2023, is actually a really wrong, long story. Uh, I am not actually the priest, I am the head and founder of the Save Sharda Committee Kashmir Registered. We have been struggling, our committee has been struggling for reopening of the Sharda Peet. Uh, that lies in POK in District Neelam. In fact, uh, we tried now last, because after I went to Kartarpur, Ground of India rejected my LOC permit to travel to POK, Sharda Peet. So, uh, so is Pakistan. So I thought of going on these four traditional routes to pay reverence to our gurus, which, uh, whom we had the yatras uh, pre-partition. So we went to Keran first, we went to Lidharvan, the shortest route. Third was the offshore route, this is the T12 temple. 
This temple and a Gurdwara existed in 1947, which was burnt in Pak Proxy War. And the land out there was preserved by the locals. We got astonished, we, our big group, when we visited in 2021 this LOC side after Karen and Lizar one visit. We were welcomed by locals and the local commander also. They said, your land is there, the temple and the Gurdwara land. So I searched for the revenue records. We uh, constituted a committee which comprised of construction committee which comprised of three Muslim locals. Uh, one Sikh, Sardar Joginder Singh, and five Hindus. So we, this all faith committee, first uh, demarcated the land where exactly and how much it has been encroached. Uh, some part of the land has been encroached, but without any, you know, any sort of skirmish. We were given the land back by the locals. That was a very big point, and we demarcated it, and we started the main construction in March 22, and we completed it in eight, nine months. And this Diwali, or these functions, are happening after 75 good years. And there's no barbed wire, let me tell you about this village. There's no border wire, there's no fencing. It's only the Kishan Ganga River which is dividing India and occupied territories which are in POK. So this is very fascinating. We are striving very hard. We have to face very tough uh, things from park rangers this year, particularly on the construction of the bathing ghat. That is Swami Nandlalji Ghat. So they have been, you know, time and again, raising, you know, violent, uh, you know, slogans, you can't come to the God, how did you construct a Vatichai? They fired also on uh, June 21 this year. So this Diwali and other functions which are happening there now, particularly after the consecration of the temple by His Highness uh, Vidhu Shekhra Bharti Ji Shankaracharya Pringiri on 5th June 2023. So these shows clearly that it's a way for peace. These are big confidence building measures which we have to take and these will lead ultimately to the reopening of the Sharda Peet which is in POK closed since 1948. And I reiterate that nowhere in any conflict zone in the whole world has prayer stopped even for a day. Be it Al-Aqsa Mosque, be it uh, Church of Turkey or any other place. But why it is stopped here since 1948? And I raise a question time and again to our ministry that if I have been allowed and cleared by government of India and government of Pakistan for Kartarpur visit on 24th of November 2019, I visited it. So why you are rejecting my permit uh, for Sharda Peet? Even uh, UN resolutions are clear. We have a right to pilgrimage. You can't stop us. I have... Uh, you know, got the revenue record also from across, from Sharda village itself, where our Guru Swami Nandalaji's land is still there. It is being in the, in the name of some Muhammad Ayub as a tiller. He is only a uh, protector and user of the land. He is not the owner of the land. So we need to put pressure and as Honorable Amit Shahji has committed during the inauguration of the temple on 22nd of March 2023, that Ground Type India will work and this corridor will also be opened and he further congratulated civil societies on this side of Kashmir as well as POK civil society in his address. So we hope that government takes some steps and our right to pilgrimage and right to religion is restored. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.